I'm Andrew Anthony, and welcome to the 60 Second Check-In, your fun, quick look into the best of gospel art, entertainment, and culture. The goal for our special guest is to answer as many questions as they can within one minute. Today, our special guest is Londa Larman. Hi, Londa. Welcome to the show. I'm honored. So this is a question game, and your goal is to answer as many questions as you can within one minute. If you say, I don't know, or pass, they both count as a pass. Okay. So are you ready to go? I am ready. We're going to put one minute on the clock. Okay. And go. Mm-hmm. What's your nickname? Mm. LL, or Lons. Where were you born? Toronto. Between Tia and Tamara from Sister Sister, which twin do you relate to the most? Tia? What's your favorite color? Blue. What is the most interesting TV show? Ooh. Uh, Cosby Show. What's your favorite musical? Musical? Uh, Hamilton. What was the most interesting event you've attended? Ooh. Um, Bobby Jones Gospel. Hmm. What is your least favorite holiday? Least favorite? Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, if I had to choose, uh, Canada Day. (laughs) (laughs) What's your favorite snack? (laughs) Chips. What is the worst food you've ever tried? Oh, mussels. Hmm. Hallmark or Lifetime? Sorry? Hallmark or Lifetime? Lifetime. (laughs) What's your favorite tradition? Oh, timer's up. (laughs) That was pretty good. What's your definition of a good singer? Someone who can stay on pitch, can manipulate different tones in their voice, do backgrounds as well as be up front, and has good range. Someone who knows the lyrics. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are the ups and downs of being signed to a major label? With EMI Gospel, which is now uh, Motown Gospel, uh, the ups were the fact that they take care of everything. Okay, so they pay for your album, they take care of the marketing, they take care of the distribution. In major events, you are taken care of, they fly you there and all of that. The downs of that, recouping all the money spent for the album. It's not easy if you are not a well-known, already established gospel artist. If you're not able to recoup or recoup at the time frame that they expect you to, then you may get dropped. And that's what's happened to myself and many others. Um, Because back then, there were expectations that you recoup even though you're told that, you know, we're here to develop you and all of that. Everybody back then was getting dropped. I mean, the Kimberells were getting dropped. Karen Clark Gere was getting dropped. Uh, A whole bunch of people were getting dropped from the labels because it was just a difficult time back then. It was really just the heavy hitters like the Fred Hammonds and the Kirks and the, the Mary Marys that were, you know, able to keep going. And that is also a downer being dropped because then it takes a lot of time for you to come out with more music because now you're indie. How has it been transitioning from a world with physical CDs to online digital streaming? It's it's different, man. Even if you wanted to say, I still want to print CDs, it doesn't make sense to because they're not even building cars with CD players anymore. <laughs> 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 You really have no choice unless you are selling to people that you know still have CD players in their car. Yeah. I mean, you're just, you're going to have to deal with it. You got to go with the flow. I prefer printing the CDs and so on and having something to actually sell. <laughs> um, I think you make more money that way uh, as opposed to, you know, the streaming and so on. But I mean, what can you do? That's that's the age that we're living in right now. Now I have a whole bunch of CDs in a box because I didn't unpack them when I moved. And like, what do you do with them? <laughs> Where do you, I do not want to take all those CDs out and still put them on racks and so on. Like, just to say that I have them and to look at them? No, taking up too much space. Like, what are we gonna do? And I don't want to throw them out. My brother's like, don't you dare throw them out. But like, how long are you going to keep it? (laughs) I've seen you in Caroline or Change. You know, I was trying to remember the name. (laughs) (laughs) What's your favorite part about being an actor? That you get to be someone else. Mm -hmm. This character that you would never get to um, experience in real life. The rehearsals that I had 
for Carolina change. I mean, just awesome. It was in depth. It was regular. <laughs> <laughs> like on a consistent basis, like every single day, working with different people, not necessarily church folk. And I was okay with that. It was just being in a different environment was so refreshing and doing something different was so refreshing while still doing what I'm passionate about, which is singing. So the whole musical is just, is sung. We're literally singing all of our lines and I, um, working with very talented people, people that have been in, in theater forever and to have the opportunity to, to be beside them and learn from them and be educated by them. The directors, the musical director, awesome, awesome, awesome. And I would do it again. <laughs> I would do it again and I would love to continue doing it. It's, it's a wonderful experience. New singers, voices get tired very quickly. Is there anything that you have done to help with vocal fatigue? When I'm tired, especially when I finish recording for the Rayma broadcast, as soon as you get home, gargle with salt water. If I know I'm vocally tired and I go to bed without doing that, the next morning I have nothing. Also gargling with Listerine, I find way back in the throat, like until you cry eye water. <laughs> find that that helps and uh, definitely um, even on the ride home after you're finished doing some um, low warm warm-ups mm -hmm. uh, just to keep your your voice okay we all go through it vocal fatigue for sure so how has singing during the pandemic at Rayma and other places been for you at Rayma it's great mm -hmm. I have no issues with that um, a bit can be tiring we record on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And on a Tuesday, I'm recording up to eight songs. And then the Thursday, it's about four. We do that so that we have enough sets throughout the month that are already pre-recorded. Okay. Outside of that, like these, I don't mind doing Zoom interviews, mm -hmm. but sing on Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it drives me insane. Like, I do not love it, Star. <laughs> I do not. But I mean, again, it's it's where we're at. But Lord, I can't wait to get in front of a live audience. Virtual concerts are killing me. <laughs> it's not for the artists. It's not for the vocal artists at all. No. It's for meetings. <laughs> it's yeah. for me. And that's it. <laughs> Are you working on any new projects or what can we expect from you in the future? Oh my gosh, so I'm releasing a new song um, very soon. So I redid uh, The Goodness of God and I did that because I love that song. I really do. And it really is my testimony. And I'm sure it is for many others that have heard it. That song to me is an anthem. I wanted people to hear my testimony. I've been, you know, married, divorced, and I'm a single mother of two beautiful boys who are growing lovely in the Lord. And I thank God for that. I want to share that God's really been good. He really has been good to me we just want to spice it up a little bit in a different way i will not say how uh you gotta make sure that you get it when it comes out so pay attention to the polls because they are out there letting you know that it's coming soon and once it's available i need everybody to pre-order it it's gonna be awesome you're gonna love it instagram twitter uh facebook all at lawn alarmant and then I have my Facebook music page, which is Lawn Alarm and Music. My YouTube channel, I am so grateful for everybody that subscribed so far. I pray that you will do that. Uh, YouTube.com slash Lawn Alarmin and make sure to click on the bell so and subscribe, click the bell so that you get notifications of when I put up videos because I put up videos at least twice a week. And I'm grateful for that too, because so many people are being blessed by it. And I love that. I love that during this pandemic, when people can't really get to go out or even see artists minister, that they can at least, my page is there, and you are able to be blessed and ministered to on a weekly basis. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up button and hit subscribe for more great content. Yes, hello. You're muted. You're muted. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Hi, Londa. Hello, and it's Andre, right? Andre. Andre. Yes. Okay, I did hear Grace say that, and I was like, are you sure it's Andre? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> oh, I have to I do that. Oh, did I?
Let me just make sure I was recording. Yes, I was. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope this um, expands for you. It's nice. It's nice. If you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up button and hit subscribe for more great content.